what's going on you guys uh it was highly requested that we make a youtube channel so here's that's what we did we made a youtube channel and uh the first thing i could think of was let's do a q and a i'm constantly getting questions about my music i'm constantly getting different questions along lines of that so i thought it'd just be kind of cool to to answer a few of you guys' questions i got them written down right here and uh we're just gonna go from there so so the first question we got here is what made you start your career and everybody who's asking me the questions i'll put the i'll put the instagram some i'll put something it'll be up on the screen every time i ask a question so what made you start your career honestly i i wanted to have fun and i wanted to just kind of mess around and do something i never thought i'd be able to do or never thought i would be ever be doing and then i ended up taking it a lot more seriously like compared to my first song to my latest song, the growth has just been insane. So I think what made me want to start my career was just to have fun, just to have something to do. Second question, uh, is there a lot of people doubting? Why is my air freshener moving? Stay. All right. Uh, is there a lot of people doubting you and why? Yes, there's a lot of people doubting me. I'm told I'm told on the daily, you know, you're not you're not going to make it. This shit's not going to work out. Um, you'll quit. No, none of that's none of that's true. But yes, there's a lot of people doubting me. Why they're doubting me? I think it's just because they want me to. They want me to fail. They want. They don't want to see me succeed. And that's that's what I think. Uh, the next question: How did you come up with the name? Now, if you guys have been around listening to my music for a while, you know my name. The name wasn't always elusive. The name was Low Murmur, and honestly, that was that was horrible. That was trash. That name is dumb. And I started making music with. Now, Summons, his name was Lil Bluebird, and we've been homies since sixth grade. And we didn't want to be another Lil, you know what I mean? You got Lil Pump, you have Lil Wayne, you have Lil Zan, you got Lil Nar, you got all the Lils, you know what I mean? It goes on forever. There's Lil Toenail, I think, too. And honestly, honestly, though, I didn't come up with the name. Uh, I was talking to Summons, his name's Billy. Uh, we were talking, we were texting back and forth. Because we were both like, dude, I don't want to be another Lil. That's basic. I don't want to do it. I couldn't think of a name. And he texted me like 30 minutes later. He goes, how about Elusive? And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? What? Like, what does that even... I loved it immediately. And then he sent me what it actually means. So if you guys don't know what Elusive means, it's not just a name. It's actually a, it's a meaningful word. It means like, it means one of a kind. It means, it means one of a kind. It means meaningful. And... That name stuck out to me because we figured out this name after I started taking this music really seriously and I started actually, I guess, respecting it more, respecting music more, respecting myself as an artist more. And that that's how the name got started. And so that's a big shout out to shout out to Summons. He uh, he came up with that name. That name has got me a long way, bro. It's a well-known name. So appreciate that. Thank you. Next question is, what got you started in music? Now... Honestly, I never saw myself making music. I never saw myself as a rapper. I never saw myself as a singer. I never saw myself Like I said, I, I never saw myself in the art of music. I just write down my feelings and my pain and then I use it now I've always been into writing and reading now creative writing was my best subject. I was always good at writing and Again summons he made a song on GarageBand and that song's that song's gone but that was that song was it was something man it was really something it was wow but i think mainly what got me started in music is once he dropped that song i was kind of like hmm i kind of want to start making music or i, I want to make a song that's what i want to do i wanted to make a song and just see where it took me see if i liked it or not so what got me started in music probably summons and a lot of the the younger rappers that um, that are coming up quick you know you've got even you got Lil Pump you have Lil Zan you've got Kodeka you've got all these young people and they're already succeeding so much in life and I was just like hey I feel like that would be something really cool to do I feel like it'd be a really big accomplishment to be able to say you succeeded in something from such a young age all right this next question how many fingers do you have, including your toes, but not including your fingers? Okay, what the hell? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? How many fingers do you have, including your toes, but not also including your fingers? 
let's see. I got 10 fingers, I got 10 toes, but not including my toes and not including my fingers. So, nothing? None? 20? I think it's the trick question. I don't know. I'm probably just looking like an idiot right now. But, I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments. How many fingers do you have, including your toes, but not including your fingers or toes? So, let me, let me know. Uh, this next question. Uh, this is one I get a lot. Who is my biggest inspiration? Um, growing up, I listened to a lot of Eminem. I listened to a lot of old school rap. and I always Eminem's always been my favorite artist. He, he probably always will be. Um, because I liked, I liked his flow. I liked his words. I liked the songs. I, I just liked everything about him. Like I love his music. I so genuinely like his music. It's something I look up to. So, I'd say my biggest inspiration would have to be Eminem, or just as weird as it sounds, the people that hate on my music. They they inspire me to to keep going. They inspire me. They want they want me to fail. They want me to. They want me to get mad about them hating. Bro, here's all I gotta say. You're gonna be hating. You're gonna be like, oh, this song's trash. Let me go show my homie. It'd be like, hey, bro, look how trash this song is. You're getting me plays. You're getting my name out. Just by hating on me. Thinking you're, thinking you're doing damage. But, in reality, though, you guys are the ones that are doing the most. You're hating my music. You're saying it's horrible. You're listening to it to listen to how horrible it is. You're listen. You're showing your friends how how horrible it is. You're getting my plays up, bro. You're getting me more out there. So I just want to say thank you. So that's Eminem and my haters. Those are my biggest inspirations. Next question. It's kind of like what got you started in music, but this is why why did you start making music instead of what got me started? Why did I like why did I start making music? And honestly, it's an outlet. People run, people exercise, people draw, they, everyone has their own coping mechanisms for when, you know, you need something, when you need comfort, when you need anything. Everyone has their own outlets, everyone does their own thing. For me, that's music. I took the, instead of just writing down in a journal, I took that to making it into art. I, I consider music art. And to be able to put it in something like that, it's it's a big accomplishment to me personally and that's really why I started making music because I it's it's a good outlet for me it allows me to express myself because honestly the only place where I feel 100% safe to be myself the only place where I feel 100% protected and unjudged is in my room my headphones on listening to beats writing stuff down on my phone that's that's my happy place you know what i mean uh, this next question, what artists are your inspirations? Now, like I said, Eminem, Eminem is a huge inspiration. I've always loved, I've always loved fast rap. I think that's why a lot, I like a lot of my music like that. That's why I have a fast flow. Um, Eminem's always had a fast flow and I, I just love that. I was always just like, as a kid, I was always just like, whoa, you know, how does he, how does he talk that fast? How does he rhyme that fast? And all it is is just practice, you know, practice and words. But Eminem is definitely one of my biggest inspirations. Uh, another few um, probably would have to be J. Cole. I love, I've always loved J. Cole. His music, it's, it's real. It tells stories. It speaks to me. And that's what I want to do. I want to be able to tell a story through my music. And I want people to understand. Uh, Logic. Logic is another another big inspiration to me because he, he's also very, very lyrical he's he's a lyrical genius he can he's like j cole he can tell a story he always tells stories in his songs and that's that's something i really enjoy and nf would have to be another one i started listening to nf a few years ago and it it hit kind of differently all of his music was was real it wasn't he wasn't like oh i got i got money i got hoes i got cash i don't no it was Talking about his family problems, talking about his life problems, talking about the shit he's been through. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to be able to say. I want to help. I want to help people. Now, the final question is, do you do the music for the fans or do you do it for you? And honestly, the only answer I can give you is yes. I do it for me. I do it for the fans. I do it for me because, like I said, it's my outlet. It's somewhere I can go when this is where I go when I'm feeling so lost. You know what I mean? 
and it, it really is when something's wrong or when something's when I'm I'm hurting like emotionally or when something's like I'm just upset or even when I'm happy and I think of something I'm like oh that was fire I'm gonna write this down so I make the music for me because it's it's an outlet for me it's it's my happy place but I also make the music for the fans because like I said this this music thing I want to tell stories I want I want to help people like in clout chasing one of the one of the last few bars of the second verse was I saw myself in the art of music I write down my feelings and my pain and then I use it to help people relate and this is not a debate I am on the fucking come up I don't care what you say so I never saw myself making music I can't stress that enough I never thought I would be here I never thought I'd be making music. I never thought people would actually be enjoying my music. But the best feeling is when someone, I post it, I post it on my Snap. I post a new song on my Snap, my Insta, anything. When people slide up or they DM me and they're like, bro, I felt that. I can relate to it. And that's my goal. I want people to relate. You know, I want to help people relate because I know what it's like to to go through something and not have anybody understand and I know that listening to music on my own I I can say that you know I can be like oh damn I really felt that line like that that hit hard you know what I mean like I can I understand that and for people telling me that like they understand my music they they can relate to some of the shit I say that's one of the greatest feelings ever because that's all I've ever wanted to do with this music thing. So that's going to be it for this video. And the f I know it's kind of short. The first thing I really could think of was a QA. and a And I didn't mind it. I got people asking me questions. So that's what we did. And if you guys want to see more of these, definitely let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, again, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, like the video, subscribe. Let's get this channel growing like the SoundCloud. You know what I mean? Let's, let's get up there. So we'll see you guys next time. And yeah. Alright, elusive gang, stay up, we'll catch you.